let's say I need to create a table of people. I'll call my table person, and it's going to have all the normal bits and pieces we might store about a person. I'll keep it very simple. I'm just gonna have two columns, one being the person ID, and the other one being a status flag indicating whether this person is married or not. I'm gonna use a varchar21 for this, and I'll simply store a Y or an N. The data modeling purists uh, will probably be up in arms about this because typically we don't need to have status columns such as this. We could easily have that in a separate table and the existence of a row determines the presence, whether someone is married or not married. But let's be pragmatic. I think the reality is many of us have heaps of status-like columns in our databases, typically indicated with a Y or an N if we're using varchar21, or maybe a one or a zero if we're using something numeric or similar mechanism like that. The reason we've done this is because we've never had the Boolean data type. However, that now comes in 23C. So let me drop my table and I'll recreate it now with the new data type, that of Boolean. When it comes to inserting data into that table, I can use the things I would normally expect. I can insert the word true or the word false and the database will understand that. However, we've kept it very flexible as well. I can insert a Y and the database will understand that stands for true. I can also insert the string yes and the database will also understand that. No and N also apply. If in the past I was more comfortable using a number for a Boolean, any non-zero number will be treated as true or I can insert a zero and that'll be treated as false. Now when I select from my person table, admittedly I'm using a 21C client here so it's unfamiliar with the Boolean data type. What it does is spits out what's coming out of the database from a 21C perspective, and that is ones for true and zeros for false. Once I get a 23C client installed, then yes, that will come out as true and false as you'd expect. But it's nice to see the older clients actually roughly understand what's going on here. So your old applications would probably still work without much alteration. Let me now drop that person table and recreate it under its old guise, namely assuming the non-existence of a Boolean data type. I'll just create it with the varchar2 of one. The question now becomes, how would I convert an existing table to take advantage of the new Boolean data type? If your table is empty, that's a no-brainer. You simply alter the table and you can convert the data type to Boolean directly. There's no interruption there because there's no data conversion required. That's pretty much the same with most of the data type conversions you can do in Oracle. You can simply convert as long as the table is empty. But of course, most likely your tables do have some data in them. So let me drop the table and recreate it once again back with its varchar to one for the married column. And this time, let me stick a row in there and see what happens when we try to run our alter command. Just like most of the non-trivial data type changes you do in the Oracle database, the database is telling you you can't do that without doing some sort of data conversion activity. But that's not too difficult to do. We could either unload and reload the data entirely, or if it's a small table, then we can do the old trick where we add a new column with the new data type that we want, and then we run an update command to populate that column. We have a new function called toBoolean inside the database, which will happily convert varchar2s and numerics to a Boolean representation based on the rules I said earlier, and that will update the new column. Then it's just a case of setting the original married column to being unused so it's no longer visible. At that point, I can then go ahead now and rename my new column, the married bool, to become the original column name of married. And the conversion has been completed. I can then describe my table, and we can see there we now have a two column table as before, but the married column is now a Boolean data type. Now this is a complete implementation of a new data type. So all the normal things you could do with a data type apply. You can use it in predicates, etc. One thing that not to be caught on is even though we might think that normally predicates would be column equals something else, we obviously don't have to use married equals true here because the result of a comparison like married equals true is a Boolean anyway. So for Booleans, you would simply write the query as select star from person where married we already have a Boolean expression that we're using there to test the predicate. Similarly, these predicates can be intermingled with normal predicates, so you can have where married or person ID greater than some value. All the normal predicate stuff can be done. You just put the Booleans in where required. They can be case statements, they can be anywhere in the select statement. They can just be used like any other data type in any other expression. 
Just remember you don't need to do equals true or equals false. The Boolean is already in the correct data type state. And because it is a full data type, you could create indexes on these columns should you want to. You could use them as virtual columns. You can create constraints effectively. All the normal stuff you can do with any data type, you can do with a Boolean data type as well. Because it is a complete implementation of a new data type, it's not like we shoehorned the Boolean data type into a varchar21 or a number behind the scenes. If we do a little block dump of the rows in our person table, you can see that internally we're using a single byte containing a zero or a one to hold the Boolean value. You could perhaps argue that that means that if, you, if I had dozens and dozens of Boolean values or Boolean columns, you might be better off still putting it all into a single numeric and using the bitwise operations to extract it. But I think that's probably a very niche case. Most of the time, I think if it's only two bytes per each Boolean, as in the value plus length byte, then I think you'll be fine using the Boolean data type natively for each individual column. But Boolean data type is coming in 23C.